going on, Internet? I am back. After my week hiatus, last week was a little bit busy, but you know what? That was last week, this is this week. Let's get it going. It was announced that Sam Raimi is going to be directing the up-and-coming movie Oz, the great and... the great and powerful... movie based off the actual origin of Oz and how, well... He ended up in the land of Oz and doing Oz things. Even though Robert Downey Jr. is not attached to the film, they're trying to do everything they possibly can to get him to sign on. In fact, they even claimed that they're developing the role for him. For all those Crank Crank 2 and Gamer fans, the directors of those three movies have come together to direct the sequel to Ghost Rider. The movie Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance might actually take a step in the right direction. Now granted, the Crank movies were a little bit on the campy side, but they're more well known for their extremity and grittiness, which I think is something actually the Ghost Rider movie needs. Though it hasn't been confirmed that Nick Cage will return as his role as Johnny Blaze, the studios are hoping that he will. The only problem that they're running into right now is the fact that Nick Cage is currently tied to National Treasure 3. They need to get this film going, otherwise Columbia loses the rights. E3 went off this week with a bunch of different announcements like the Nintendo 3DS, a DS suited for 3D gaming without the requirement of wearing 3D glasses, Crisis 2, so everybody be prepared to spend over $9,000 trying to build a new computer just to keep up with the game, Rock Band 3 already didn't feel like a rock star or had no desire to learn how to play actual instruments, well, you're in for a little twist. Not only are they releasing a new guitar controller that will have frets and strings, but you guys are going to get to learn to play piano with the included 26 key piano. That is amazingly awful because I have no desire to play the piano whatsoever. Maybe if it was like four buttons, but the fact that it's going to be a 26 key actual piano, I have a hard enough time trying to play the piano with the light up keys at Target. On top of that, Microsoft has announced their new and improved Xbox 360 with a new slicker design, built-in Wi-Fi, a 250 gig hard drive, and a nice awesome dust collecting fingerprint showing black glossy finish. We can definitely look forward to this new console, and hopefully it won't be any worse than the original launch. <coughs> Last day Bomb Films, I decided to turn the questions over to you all. Well, unfortunately it hasn't been the biggest response, but I do appreciate Believe in Fate for his question. Or two. What did I think of Paranormal Activity, and do I think low-budget films can rack up to the high-budget films? Well, I never actually watched Paranormal Activity. Well, I guess when that whole Alien Paranormal bus came around to pick everybody up, I missed it by about five minutes, so... Yeah, I'm sure it's a great movie and all, but I just really didn't have a desire to see it. Not my cup of tea. As for low-budget films ranking up the high-budget films, unfortunately, low-budget films will never be as successful as high-budget films. A lot of the time, low-budget films may not hit the numbers, but they'll have a much wider cult following. Well, at the same time, you can always have low-budget films be better than the high-budget films. Budget doesn't really make everything, it just makes things blow up faster and better. Couple movies opening up this week. We have Jonah Hex and Toy Story 3. I myself have been looking forward to Toy Story 3 since I heard its announcement over two years ago. I'm definitely gonna go try to check that out. Maybe in 3D, depends on whether or not I actually want to fork over the $20,000 to see it. And that leaves me with the question of the week. What announcement were you guys waiting for the most at E3? Leave a comment down below. Also, I got some trailers for you down in my shopping cart. Feel free to check them out. I'm a bomb. This is Talking Carl. And you're watching A Bomb Films. And you're watching A Bomb Films. You're awesome. You're awesome. No, you're awesome. You're awesome. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Carl. My name's not Carl. Yes, it is. See you guys later.